fear for your honest sonsy face. Great chieftain o' the puddin' race. A boon the more ye tack your place. Pinch, tripe, or thern. Weel are ye worthy of a grace, as langs mouth. The groaning trencher, there ye fill, your hurdies like a distant hill. Your pin would help to mend a mill in time o' need. While through your pores the dews distill, like amber bead. His knife see rustic labour dicht, and cut ye up with ready slicht. Trenching your gushing entrails bricht, like ony ditch. And then, ach, what a glorious sicht, warm, reeking, rich. Then horn for horn they stretch and strive, deal tack the hindmost on they drive, till all their wheels swamp kites belive are bent like drums. Then, old good man, may slight to rive, be thank it hums. Is there that o'er his French ragout, or only o would star sue? Or fricassee, a perfect spew with mak her scona. Looks down we sneer in scorn for view on sick a dinner. Poor deal, see him o'er his trash. As feckless as a withered rash. His spinel shank a good whiplash, his neve a knit. Through bloody flood or field to dash, oh, how unfit. But mark the rustic haggard fed, fed the, the trembling earth runs down his tread. tread. Oh, guy knew. Clapping his wally neve a blade, or he'll make a whistle. And arms and legs and heads will sned, caps a thristle. Your powers what make mankind your care, and dish them out their bill of fare. All Scotland wants, nay skinking wear, that jouts in luggies. But if you wish her a grateful prayer, gee her a haggis.